Hey guys, it's Cream Manga, and today we're gonna draw with three different types of microns or fine liners to see which one is the best. And we'll be drawing Taiju from Dr. Stone by Boichi and Richido Inagaki. Some of my favorite artists art is from Boichi, so I'm super excited to do this video. And make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Webtoon, and let's get started! So guys, let's talk about art materials. There are literally so many art materials out there for a wide range of artists, but as an inspiring manga style artist myself, I think fine liners are definitely one of my favorites to use in traditional art. So today we'll be kind of reviewing three brands of them. So yeah, in this video I'll be drawing a panel of Taiju from the manga Dr. Stone by Richiro Inagaki and art by Boichi. Boichi is like one of my favorite artists by the way. <laughs> and um, then I'll split it into, I guess, three parts to show how these different fine liners work. So we're gonna, I'll start the sketch a bit and then go into time loads to finish it up since this is a lining video, not really a sketching video. But here's the panel I'm drawing from, probably just his face since the full body takes kind of forever. <laughs> I don't... I don't want to spend too much time on this. I've got other projects I want to work on. So I'll start with the skir circle, like the skirkle. <laughs> okay, I'll start with the circle like I always do. You know me. It's not really center. I want it to be center. So here we go, over here. And then the lines. You know my two favorite lines, the vertical lines. And then the horizontal lines, my faves. Okay, so we got those, and we got the kind of face sketch. You know, I have this little base here, and then I'll go in and do all the real drawing in time lapse. See you there, guys. Okay guys, so I finished the sketch of Taiju from Dr. Stone, just his face, but that's fine because we can still test out these uh, fine liners. So I'll split the face into three parts, one that I can show each potential. <laughs> so um, I guess from here would be the microns, we'll do a little bit of the mouth to cut the mouth in different shades. And then here will be the, the middle. It's gonna be the graphic liners. So this side will be Pigma Right Microns that a lot of people use over Instagram, YouTube, anywhere for uh, line art in uh, just making art. And then the middle is going to be these um, cheap brand fine liners, graphic, thin line. They're from Wonder and Weiss. And they're black graphic markers with um, eight, eight pieces. These, all, these have um, eight, five, six, some, some around there for the microns. And then the next part is going to have, in the last part, it's going to have um, the Pentel brush sign pen that um, has a thin line but can have various widths. And I'll be using that. I use this in most of my videos so we can compare that too. 
Oops, I'm missing. <laughs> I'm missing the the cap right now. Okay, so we made and we'll do the mouth in difference since we want to see the differences in the lines too. So first I'll start off and I'll fill in the blacks with um with a Pentel medium-sized brush pen. Uh since I don't want to waste the markers. But I'll do a little bit of section of the bat blacks with the brush pens in each set. So We'll see how that goes, and let's get started on the first section. Okay, so this side is the micron side. I did fill in the black hair with the brush pen, but the black eyebrow is filled in with the with the um, the brush pen from Pig the Pigma Micron brush, um, which is a bit different. This one's definitely much much cleaner. So then we'll go. We have Pigma Pigmas for this round, and then for the middle part of the face. We're gonna use the five dollar eight pack, um, whatever this brand is, Wonder and Weiss, and we'll see how it compares to the beautiful Pigma Microns because they're my favorites. But I haven't really used these before, so let's get doing that. So we're done the middle section with the Wonder and Weiss graphic thin line water and fade proof pen. And there are some differences between those. First of all, this eight pack was around five dollars, while this is about three times as much. Uh, the one of like probably the mid-size pack is around fifteen dollars. If you get it online in store, they're a little bit more expensive than that. Well, actually, kind of a lot in store. They're kind of expensive, <laughs> but um, at least where I live. And um, you can see the difference here. These markers are they show up a bit grayer. Like when I filled in with the brush pen on the one the graphic markers, they um they show up gray. It's not as black as the as the pigmas which would i wouldn't be too bothered by this but for some people it might bother them more as you can see when i filled in the hair section with the pentel you can see the gray the gray um parts of the 0.5 um of graphic pen that i filled that in with so it's a bit grayer than a normal black alcohol based marker or the pigma pens so that might bother some people, but this is sketch paper, right? So um, I use these and they they go down on sketch paper a bit more nicely than the pigmas. These kind of feel scratchy, but they 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 end up having a better um, result than the graphics. That's what I thought. And let me check the back of this paper to see if any of them bled, because that would be something a really big problem if any if any of the markers blood okay so no so you see that none of them bleed so that's good so we have bleed proof fine line markers if i used mar if i used alcohol based markers on this it would bleed straight through since this is just um paper so that's what i thought about uh the wonder and weiss um graphic fine liners i think pigmas have a better quality but for the price, they're really they're really not bad. I, I like them. And they might turn out differently if you put them in color, but we could probably do that in another video. So for this side, I'm gonna use my classic pen that I use for all my videos on Instagram and TikTok 
the Brush Time Pen Artist SES F30C with the little Japanese logo on the side from Pentel and we'll be filling, doing the rest. It's going to be a bit of a different style since it's just one pen. I range from different um, sizes of pens for this little, these areas, but now it's going to be a bit different style and later on I might add the gray, the gray tones that I usually put in my videos for you guys to see. So I'll be doing that in time lapse. See you there. done line arting our three sections of taiju from dr stone so this section was with pi 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 what am i saying pigma microns this section was wonder and weiss graphic markers and the last section was with the pentel brush pen going by uh prices this one's probably the most expensive pen. Getting it by itself, I find, is really hard to um, find. But I, that's why I bought it in a pack of different colors. But honestly, I just really wanted the black one. And it's a bit more expensive than the pack of Pigma Microns. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Pigma Microns, because I think I lost one of them. And then the eight graphic markers is the cheapest. Uh, with at like around five dollars and but the quality is a bit less with the grayer the grayer um, color now this um, ha produces a completely different style than the microns most often and um, it's a bit lighter in color than the microns but darker than the wonder and weiss and then pentel um the medium sized brush pen is the darkest and the cleanest for filling in. But I do love using this pen for black and white videos. They don't work with watercolor. <laughs> I have found out, do not use any of these with watercolor. This one does say it is waterproof, so maybe this one would work. But um, unless it's dried, then you can go over dried water watercolor with any of these. And this one, this pen from Pentel is also a bit more scratchier when you do the thin lines on sketch paper. It probably produces pretty nice clean lines on more pen and ink types of paper or manga paper, comic paper, Bristol board too. These are pretty, pretty good for thin lines too. It's just on sketch paper, it's a little bit more scratchy so it's gonna show up in, if you do quick lines, It'll show up a bit differently than if you do smooth, longer lines, like in the edge of this face. So, there is my comparison between the cheapest out of these markers, and then the second most expensive, and then the most expensive pens. And all of them work fine. I can do another video on coloring with them, which might be... Since some of them might work with uh, alcohol-based markers and some of them won't, I doubt they'd work with um, watercolor, honestly. But yeah, that's the three markers. And this was a fun video drawing from my one of my favorite artists, Boichi, who has a couple manga that I enjoy. And that's pretty much it. So make sure to like the video, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, Webtoon, and TikTok. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Don't forget to keep drawing.